Hey, Ruhl, we want to have a conversation today about Solutions Academy teaching, learning, adult education philosophy. And um, sometimes people are surprised in our courses. And maybe we could start from what, what is your experience of what surprises people sometimes? What surprises people? And um, do you have a particular area where we would like to go first in respect like to surprise? surprises people when, when it comes to our learning and teaching methodology. For example, I, I sometimes feel people are surprised um, at the fact that they are asked to try out a lot of things and think for themselves yes. and make, make up their own mind rather yes. than us telling them what their mind should be. <laughs> do you have That's a similar experience? <laughs> That's the biggest surprise. People think, oh, let's uh, book a great coaching training and uh, we can sit and listen and then it all happens. And the experience that I have, and of course, you know, my peer trainers and yourself is become a great coach. You have to do, you have to do, you have to do, you have to practice. And the more time you put in it, the more you get out of it. And it's also, um, I think when we have a strong pre-frame at the beginning of the sessions, guys it's you who need to do the work um then we see great results another surprise is i think when they approach this way that they become so fast even better coaches um you know if we see the icf framework or the emcc framework and they practice in the peer groups and in class they see great results i see this too right if i listen to the mentor sessions afterwards and I think um, coaching is a bit like language learning or like learning an art. So, you know, you, you wouldn't expect to go to um, a dance class, for example, and then have somebody teach you in theory what this dance is about and how it is done correctly without you trying it. So uh, I think that's that's our adult education philosophy that um, participants come to our courses and they already have so much experiences with themselves in conversation yeah. that we want to build on these experiences. Of course, in a guided framework and with post-work and pre-work and a lot of things that you can engage with, but it's not like a super defined path that you have to take every step in order to absolutely get there because everybody's yes. learning is a little bit different. I don't know. Um, what do you think? So people come in our classes and uh, they already have great coaching learnings and they have their own methodology and their own ways. And I think when they understand, keep your own coaching style and see the ICF framework more as a framework and see how you can glue it in. And if I give myself as an example, uh, becoming in a very fast-paced, results-driven coaching approach, uh, being a coach for, for Tony Robbins 10 years, um, you know, we, we spoke about this. I had my own coaching style, but it was way too direct, way too fast, way too outcome-oriented. And after I understood, keep myself or a let's say I need to keep my own coaching approach and glue it in, it works. I think that's also very important for our students. Keep your own coaching approach and then glue in your ICF framework. But don't do tick box. Oh, I need to do all those boxes. That doesn't work. And that's our experience in the advanced classes when people are going for PCC, for MCC, or for coaching supervisor. Sometimes there is the idea that now I have to conform, I have to do ICF, and I need to forget everything that I know. And I think we're really the opposite of that. We're asking yes. you to be the best coach you can be, the best supervisor you can be, the best master yep. coach you can be, and not like cookie cutter, this is what you, what a good coach in general does and I feel as you can probably hear I feel like very very passionate about keeping the diversity of coaching rather yeah. than making everybody sound the same exactly yeah, exactly and um, yeah if, if people practice their 
it's also interesting, right? So if we see, let's say, uh, people who are just starting coaching and they they come in our classes and they are almost eager to to get it done and yes, let me let me go first. I want to coach. No, no, no. I I want to be first. And the more and I had the same feeling, you know, when you go from your first levels in ICF, ACC and PCC and then later on MCC, almost a bit scared. Oh, but. I have my own coaching style. I don't like to share it because sometimes I may get feedback that I do not like to receive. And I think in Solutions Academy, we are really focusing on your coaching style and especially at MDC, um, be a bit more brave, you know, go in class and test it out. So I, th I think the if you are someone who is a learner, someone who loves to experiment, someone who likes discussing new ideas, and someone who is more interested in great open questions than in definite answers, then you're probably going to love Solutions Academy courses. Definitely. If you are someone who wants to know how it is done and what is correct and what is incorrect and what is right and what is wrong. And you want basically information rather than experience, then I would recommend start by reading a good book because you can get all of that in a good book. Or you could go to our YouTube channel where we have lots of play uh, playlists of other people coaching. So you, that might be a really, really good way for you to learn. And then when you're ready to try it out, come to us. Yes. I think maybe it's a, it's a fair kind of um, trigger warning. <laughs> you know, we will try and make you think and experiment. Yes. And I, I like to come back to your first metaphor, you know, when you want to learn dancing, you cannot read it from a book. Yeah, maybe some steps, but you have to do it. And I think that's that's the strength of Solutions Academy, that you have to do it. And we are a safe place, you know, it's a fun to be with people. Uh, everything belongs in a very safe space. And uh, yeah, the more you put in, the more you get out. That's, I think, the whole idea. And in a way, there aren't any mistakes. So no. maybe you do a really crummy coaching. I don't know what that would be, but maybe you are really unhappy with yourself. Even then, I think a lot of learning can be gleaned from what you what you think you didn't do right, quote unquote right. Yeah. And then we can all chip in and think, you know, this could have been tried, this, this, this. And then you you end up with a lot of more options. So there isn't, I don't think there is there is anything bad that can happen in the session. No. If you come with this idea of mistakes, what can happen? You go, okay, that went. Okay. I mean, I, I've had some shitty coaching. I don't know. You probably never rule, but <laughs> no, no, never, 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 never ever. ever. Well, ever. <laughs> I've been in your classes, you know, since the beginning, from being a complete IT nerd and so process minded. Um, and I kept testing things from IT nerd and ACC. And I was so happy that I got my ACC uh, and then PCC and then MCC. And it's a never ending learning. And I think it's also important for you guys to understand. It's like fitness. If you go one time to a fitness center, you may know a little exercise, but it doesn't bring you at the top level. So it means you have to put time in this. It's it needs to grow. Uh, that's what you also in classes. So be there, and then the whole journey you will see yourself grow. So please, 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 um, if this is something that you find interesting or sees okay, that fits how I learn, come and join us. If you have more questions, you can always go um, to solutionsacademy.com slash uh, info call and you can have a free info call or join us for one of our um, free meetup and exchanges that can be booked at solutionsacademy.com slash registration. I'll post those links in the uh, comments below.
See you guys there. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.